Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Caroline, and today I wanted to do a video on what I spent in a week in quarantine. So I got this idea from Gretchen, and it's just really interesting. I wanted to see if I was spending more in quarantine or less. I think it really depends on the week and just kind of where we are. Like, if we feel safe, things are getting better, or we think maybe things are getting worse, we need to like not spend as much. So I'm towards the end of my quarantine. Things have started opening up in Georgia when I filmed this. Um, so just keep that in mind, but I really thought this was a great concept. So let's go ahead and get started and please subscribe if you haven't already. So I started this on a Thursday, which kind of seems random, but that's when I saw the video and I was like, oh my God, I'd love to do this. And since quarantine's kind of ending in Georgia, I wanted to start immediately. So I started on May 14th. Um, that day, I actually only went one place. I went to Starbucks and my drink was 5.83, but then I actually had a free drink. So I decided to redeem that. So on, on Thursday, I actually did not spend anything, which we love that. Time for Starbucks so loudly <laughs> but time for starbucks i'm gonna use my free drink probably so i'm kind of cheating but it's fine so since i got a free drink i did the most expensive one so i got the venti iced chai tea latte with almond milk it's usually 5.83 um so i saved that much today on my starbucks on the 15th, I went to the grocery store in the morning and I spent $67.14. I go to the grocery store usually two times a week, maybe three times if I go to Trader Joe's. Um, so I'll go ahead and start a quick haul for you guys right now. So we got our snacks. We got our special occasion food, yogurt, jalapenos, cucumbers, honey. I got just cranberry for vodka. We got three different types of meat. We got blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and they were out of pepper, like red single peppers and green ones. So we ended up just getting uh, one of those bags, which I've never done before. I hope I like it. Next, I spent $17.41 on a wine aerator. We already had one, but something happened and I'll explain in the clip. So here's our new wine aerator. So I use it for red wine because it helps get like the sulfates out and like it helps with the headaches if you get headaches from red wine. But we had a wine aerator and Patrick put it in the sink to hand wash it. He was hand washing a bunch of stuff. I guess lost track of it. Then a couple hours later, I ran the disposal and it sounded awful. Turns out our wine aerator made it down inside the drain <laughs> and we were able to fish it out with a spoon and a fork. So we want to put our hand down there and it was just like a little disfigured, a little deformed, but we decided just to like throw it away and so we got a new one. So next we move on to May 16th, that was my birthday. I did go out to lunch with my in-laws and my parents and they paid for lunch, so we didn't have any expenses there. Um, and then I also went online shopping at Target and spent $51.12 at Target. And I'll link everything down below that I got if you're interested and I'll do a little quick haul. So I made my Target order and for some reason they're coming in three separate packages. So I got one today. It has the simple makeup wipes. I don't use makeup wipes usually to take off my makeup because it pulls your face. But sometimes you have those nights where you just like don't care. So that's why I use those or to travel. I got this nail polish in pink blink. Like I have usually have black nails. But honestly during quarantine it's like really challenged me. Like who is she? And then I needed allergy medicine. And then I'll show you guys the rest when it comes in. All right, the rest of my order came in. I cannot find the streaming anywhere. And it's only $10 on Target.com. I love this movie so much. Patrick's never seen either of them. So I'm gonna watch that soon. And then this is the other nail polish color that I got. So that completes my Target order. Next is May 17th. I went to Starbucks. I was able to get my free birthday drink, which was awesome, but Patrick also went and he got some coffee and that was $3.50. Next, I was on Amazon and these pajamas I really wanted came back in stock. I'm gonna insert a clip in a second. Um, I think they were like $32 or something like that, but there's this app where you can take surveys and make money and then you can either choose to donate or get an Amazon gift card. This time around I did an Amazon gift card. So I had $20 towards these pajamas. So I ended up paying at $12.32. So I'll insert um, me in the pajamas because they're super, super cute. This is the pajama set from Amazon. I got a medium and it is a little big, um, as you can see. And you just like can tie the waist around. I got a medium. I am probably small, but with pajamas, I don't want to feel like restricted when I'm sleeping. I want it to be a little bigger, a little like just cozier lounger I feel like is more oversized so these are the pajamas 
I link them down below and actually I ended up getting a different set like this and shorts too I got a medium hopefully it's okay but I'll link both down below for you guys um so they're not the most flattering but they're like that fake like silk material and I think they're just really cute and they're pretty comfortable Next, we want a dinner from Flower Child, which is down the street. It is so good. I highly recommend, especially if you're gluten-free or you're just trying to be a lot healthier in life. So it was strange. I had been getting coupons on the app, like $5 off if you come back, $5 off for your birthday, 35% if you do takeout because of quarantine. And apparently they all applied to my order. Like I was so confused what was happening. It kept saying $0 total. And then I went to tip and that's when like it broke down all my discounts. So I got a turkey avocado wrap. Patrick just got a side of chicken because he wasn't really hungry. So it only cost us $2.69. I think it would have been around $20. But again, all those coupons, it just let me use them all at once. And I didn't realize what was going on. So usually it'd be about $20 for what I got with um, tip, but it was just $2.69. Next, we have Monday, May 18th. That was one of my friend's birthdays, so I sent her $6 to go get Starbucks because it is a work day. So I was like, go ahead, get out of the house, go get Starbucks, or go get, I don't know, there's a Dairy Queen by her, like a blizzard, like whatever you want. So I just sent her a quick little $6 because we weren't really able to see each other or celebrate properly, so I just sent that over to her. Then Ulta had 20% off on their website and I had wanting to get a larger barrel curling iron. I got a one and a half inch. Um, I'll go ahead and do a little clip below, but that was $43.52 after the 20% off. So just did a curbside pickup at Ulta. I got this one and a half inch curling iron. I've heard pretty good things about it. I just don't have one that has a barrel that is this big. So what happened is I called Ulta when I pulled in, um, they confirmed who I was and then I put my window down and they just dropped it in our um, back seat. So super easy and I can't wait to try this out. Let me know if you have this, if you love it or if you hate it, <laughs> let me know. Wednesday, May 20th, I had another best friend's birthday. So I did the whole like six day birthday, get a cheap bottle of wine, uh, Starbucks, whatever you guys want, just cause I couldn't celebrate it properly. So I just sent that to the know, let them know that I was thinking about them. Then I went to my parents' house to work from home for the second half of the day. And I ended up getting some tea and fries from Chick-fil-A, super healthy. So that was 423. Some chicken filet, just got a sweet tea and a fry because I'm just working right now at my parents' house. And my last charge for the whole week was on that Wednesday. It was 31.17 and I went to Publix again to get some fresh fruit. And of course, I didn't only get fresh fruit. I got a lot of other things. So I'll show you a quick little haul right now. So I'm at my parents, but we needed some fresh fruit. So we ended up getting some other things as well. We got gluten-free crackers, pretzels, Patrick wanted pickles. The almond butter I get was on sale like $4 off. Then we got a bunch of fresh berries and two Red Bulls. So my total for that week in quarantine was $244.83. And that actually was more than I spent on my like week in a 24-year-old life in Atlanta in a normal week. I actually spent less than that. So I don't really know what that says about me. Um, some of the stuff was necessary. Obviously, I don't have to go out to eat. I don't have to buy more pajamas on Amazon. But I needed stuff like groceries, allergy medicine, um, celebrating my friend's birthday. I want to do something for them. So... I don't know, for a week, that's really not that bad. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you guys have done this before, if you've done like a week in the life, a week in quarantine, and how much you guys end up spending. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.